Hi class, my name is Tana Stute, and for my final presentation tonight, I chose to do Ms. Magazine. Ms. is an American liberal feminist magazine that was co-founded by second wave feminists and social political activists Gloria Steinman and Dorothea Pittman Hughes during the early 1970s. Ms. became the first national publication to advance women's rights, and for 28 years and counting, it has defended the struggle for women's equality and new freedom. In this slide, I have placed a photo which shows Gloria, who is pictured on the left, and we also have Dorothy, who is shown in the picture on the right. This was just during when they first started the magazine. Originally, the name that was chosen for the magazine, she stated we were going to call it Sojourner after Sojourner Truth, but that was perceived as a travel magazine. Then they were going to call it Sisters, but that was seen as a religious magazine. During the 1970s, controversy raged over the correct title for women. Men had Mr., which gave no indication of their marital status, and business practices demanded that women use either Miss or Mrs. Many women refused to be defined by their marital status, and a growing number of women who kept their last names after marriage, neither Miss or Mrs. was correct. So that's when they came up with Miss, and it was created and chosen for the magazine because it was just very short and symbolic. Miss first appeared in 1971 as an insert in New York Magazine. When it first carried its de debut, it had articles on sub subjects such as housewives, moment of truth, desexing, the English language, and abortion. And after the first regular issue hit in the newsstands in July 1972, a news anchor, Harry Reasoner, challenged, challenged the magazine and said, I'll give it six months before they run out of things to say. Miss struck a concord with women. Its 3,000 one-shot test copies sold out nationwide in eight days. It generated an astonishing 26,000 subscription orders and over 20,000 readers reader letters within weeks. By the time Miss celebrated its 15th anniversary in 1987, Reasoner Media soothsayers in the nation had all been pressed to change their tune. Miss made history in 1972 when it published the names of women admitting to having had abortions when the procedure was still illegal in most of the United States. In 1976, covers, a cover story on battered woman made Miss the first national magazine to address the issue of domestic violence. The cover photo featured a woman with a bruised face, as I have shown on the slide right here. Miss was the first U.S. magazine to feature prominent American women demanding the repeal laws that criminalized abortion, the first to explain and advocate for the ERA, to rate presidential candidates on women's issues, to put domestic violence and sexual harassment on the cover of a woman's magazine, to feature feminist protests of pornography, to commission and feature a national study on date rape, and to blow the whistle and undue influence of advertising on magazine journalism. This magazine just has done so much and it's had so many milestones and created such a new world for journalism and it's just amazing what they have done. And in conclusion to my report, um, Miss was the first national magazine to make feminist voices audible, feminist journalism tenable, and a feminist worldview available to the public. Today, the magazine remains an interactive enterprise in which an unusually diverse re readership and simultaneously engaged each other in the world. The modern Miss boosts an extensive coverage of international women's issues to any magazine available in the United States. And that's the end. Thank you, guys.